I am about 98%. I can walk decently, but I still limp. And uh, I'm so eager to get to work. Today, however, I'm also going to be getting in a uh, Volkswagen Tiguan with a diagnostics issue. So I actually get to play car guy for the first time and I don't even know. <laughs> so today, CJ is going to come in and help us adjust Fernando's swing line. Fernando's in love with his um, expensive uh, front shock. <clears throat> and he, unfortunately, it's a little shorter than I anticipated. So... I've given him an alternate right here so that he can mount his shock half an inch further down. But we're also going to cut one inch out of the swing arm for him. That should go ahead and give him the allowance for the suspension travel that he wants for the shock that he likes. So I'm always happy to do mods for you guys. You know, I, I just want everyone to be happy with what they get. You know what I mean? Also today, uh, the math for running one of these motors on anything less than a 60 tooth rear sprocket, which would mean I'd have to change the front for the rear, and that just seems silly. I got a gear reduce. I got to go down a gear. And um, so I bought a gear reduction kit for bicycles to mount to my barber's bike. I failed. I thought it would be powerful enough if I added the extra uh, 12 volts, but unfortunately, it's a 6,000 RPM motor, and what we need is 300 RPMs. That's 20 times difference. That's like having it in 20th gear and trying to take off from zero. So I had to buy him another one with a different ratio to get me down to where we need to be. We got rid of a lot of parts. Thank you guys for listening and joining in and emailing me and buying my parts. Um... I'm almost done with doing razors, so I'm, I'm less likely to continue making stuff. I have somebody that's interested in buying this bike. Uh, he wanted to trade for a simulator. Uh, but by the end of the day, he was only allowed to do so many things. So I said, well, let's just hold off until you're allowed to do more. <clears throat> and I started thinking, well, what else do you have, Keaton? What else do you have? I have that really ugly frame, the one that I said, let's not use the ugly, ugly frame. That's the ugliest frame I got. Um, here's an SX. It's a white bodied SX 500. And I have an offset 20 inch that I was thinking about throwing some life po packs into. It'll still get up and boogie. It'll jump. It'll do all the things. I just, you know, I either need to stretch it or get a different bike frame. And since we're making other bikes, you know, might as well just go ahead and do it. I still have my monster bike that I used for Eric's twins, the mock-ups. So I'll have to make a, I'll have to make a swing arm for him and then put it together and sell it, obviously, right? Because I don't think I'm going to keep it. And then uh, somebody already wants the Indian. I have this guy, and I'm going to make a pretty cool swing arm for that. But I just don't know if we're going to stay with the design I make once I'm done. We have a design that's similar between this and this and it puts the battery on the frame instead of on the swing arm which is really weird i don't like that so we'll have less boggy feelings while we ride i don't know but that's what i've got for that and i've got this guy over here i'll probably still have this so i might stretch it if somebody wants to pay me to stretch it and sell it to them why not right and um um, I'm having a few problems with my fork supplier. It's, you know, we did a lot of transactions, but, um, I've had two or three situations now where he's run out of stock on something and it's caused problems with me and my customers. And I'm, I'm really not liking that. You know? So I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and stop. All right, my customers are here, so we'll check them out. All right, cool.